Can I build a website in just a few minutes with bookmark.com and their artificially intelligent design assistant? Let's go ahead and check it out. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Today, we've got a little bit of a, a video sponsored by the folks over at bookmark.com. They reached out to me with a little bit of a challenge. They wanted me to be a, see, they wanted me to check out their service and see if I could use it to build a website. Marketing material says is bookmark creates your website in two minutes. All you need to do is answer seven easy questions questions. You can build your website totally for free at bookmark.com. So let's see how I do with my attempt at a website using bookmark.com. All right, so bookmarks.com's claim is that this is going to be super easy. So I need to first click start now and sign up. Okay, so now we're in the ADA artificial intelligence design assistant. So Ada is supposed to help us create our website within 30 seconds. Uh, that seems ambitious. Let's see what, what happens. Painfully honest tech. Okay, next. Yes, I want to I want a blog and I want an e-commerce store with shopping cart. Why not? I'm not going to put any of that stuff in. What site layout do I want? Um, let's go with multi-page. Okay. Now, choose at least two images. Uh, let's just choose this one. And this one. Next. Modern. Create your website. Hang on, I am creating your website. Okay. Okay. Complete design freedom to customize your website the way you want. Well, that did take a very, not very much time. I'll say that. We'll see how long it takes to to finish my website. So. All right, Ada has finished doing everything. Um, so we'll start with this. Uh, start editing this website. Uh, we're gonna get it. We've got a wizard here. Um, I like the fonts. There we go. So now let's customize some stuff. Uh, I like the fonts okay. I want to customize the sections. Show me how. All right, so that's, it just showed me how to do it. So now I have to do this. Uh, I've got my header up here, which I'll change the image here in a later background uh, I've changed the background image here in a little bit uh, I like the e-commerce I like the about I don't have a team <laughs> okay. and I don't want to have a quote okay but uh, what can I add what can I add because uh, I might I, a blog might be nice a blog might be nice Ooh, subscribe yeah we'll, we'll do that one uh, add focus. Are we done? No. I want to add another focus. I do have to admit, this is uh, pretty easy in terms of selecting style. I like this. So that's cool. It'll walk you right through it. Um, I think I'm done with change website section. Now let's customize pages. Show me how to customize the page. Uh, let's get to back out of here and go to pages because I don't want all these pages. I do want a product page. I don't want an info page. Okay. Uh, contact. <clears throat> I guess I do want a contact page. Um, 
I do want a blog page. All right, so I've got an about. I've got all these pages. Let's let's add a module. Let's try a video. We need to go to the video source, which of course would be okay. Now let's go back here. Click, paste, uh, save. So that's one module that we've added. Painfully honest tech. Let's move painfully honest tech up there. And we know that the slogan is not that. There it is. Hurst. Hurts. Okay, I misspelled this. You guys didn't tell me. Okay, painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. So one thing that I really like here about this bookmarks.com is, I mean, it did, it did like create a website in just a, a couple of minutes with seven, just answering those seven questions. Um, and it, the artificial intelligence, uh, did cre I mean it was kind of cool the way it created the website for us just right in front okay so where is my image let's go back oh it's there okay just took it a second and made it tiny oh, that's, I guess that's all right Resize, yeah, let's do that. There we go. Which means that we can get rid of this and this. So now I have a website that I can hook up to painfullyhonesttech.com. You can use the wizard to do that. Let's save everything that we've done first. So that's bookmark.com. That's what you can get done in just a couple of minutes with their artificial intelligence design assistant ada uh, i think that's what it, i think that's what it stands for ada this was easy in just the sense that like at least from here down to here <laughs> i've got a website that i can that i can pretty much put together and publish and use as a starting place i'm probably going to get rid of some of these pages i'm probably going to you know i might i might not but it'll take some time to get into it however in just these few minutes, I've been able to put some stuff together. Okay, can connect it to the domain that I got. All good. So bookmark.com, I mean, build a website for free. You can just do your thing. Very, very cool. So here's what my bookmark.com website is kind of looking like as I finish it up. Uh, I, there's still tons more that I want to be able to do with it, but I thought it'd be interesting to just get a preview of what it actually looks like. So here's the full preview of what the website would actually look like. Here's a recent video, then the product gallery, uh, and then you know, this will turn into recent blog posts and the pages work really well. The about page will be rewritten to be specific to me and what I do here at Painfully Honest Tech. But you know, right now this is a, a good layout and as we've seen, it's already easy to take things in and out of your layout. Uh, here's the product page. I really like the way that this looks. You know, you can kind of scroll through some things. Of course, these are placeholders that I'll, I'll change as I get going. Uh, one thing that I really like is it also gets people uh, a way to get onto your email list very easily. And if you're doing business this way, email lists are incredibly important. So I like that. And then we've got the contact page. All of this will be <laughs> definitely truncated. I'm not telling anybody where I am or what my phone number is or anything like that. But it's nice to be have that. And then the blog page, uh, I, it's nice and clean and it'll give me a good layout to really just get the blog stuff in there. So that's what the website is going to look like, and it gives you the option to see what it'll look like on tablets. Uh, it'll see, it'll give you the option on mobile, iOS, Android, Windows. So they give you a lot of opportunities with what you're looking at here, and then, of course, you can come back and you can, you can to your heart's content, continue to uh, tweak it. So that's what that's what the website looks like at this moment. I'm going to continue to personalize it for myself and the Painfully Honest Tech brand, and we will see 
what it looks like when it's all finished. Just wanted to give you guys a TLDR kind of situation where I tell you what I really liked about the bookmark.com uh, process and maybe a couple of things that they could improve on. First, I really like that they walk you through the process and that there's easy ways to find how to change everything about the website. When I've used other website designer programs or you know web apps they have it's sometimes difficult to find what you want to do and how you want to change it whereas bookmark.com really just sort of puts it all right there in front of you it's very easy to navigate one thing i'd like to see them do differently is make it a little more clear that you can design your entire website for free with bookmark.com but if you're going to host that website with bookmark.com then it is going to cost you some money to host it and that's pretty normal for all of the website builders that i've used like this it's just that i i wasn't really aware and bookmark didn't really make it clear what the prices were or even that there were those costs even though in my mind i knew that there would be so i'd like to see that be a little bit more upfront. uh otherwise the process of building stuff was just really, really easy, and I was really, really impressed with what bookmark.com had to offer. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech, sponsored video. <laughs> Until the next time, I'm out. Hey, you're still here and you haven't left yet and you maybe you want to watch another video. There are a couple of videos here that I suggest that maybe you want to check out. Also, hit me on the social medias over there and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'd love to have you back again sometime soon. Thank you so much for being here.